today with my colleagues to tell you how important it is for Senator Martin Connor to return with us to the State Senate in January. As Jeff just said, we're going to be in the majority for the first time in pretty much anyone who you want to talk to's lifetime. And when we get there in January, we need the talents and skills and background of Senator Martin Connor with us. Um, I work on housing issues. I'm the ranker of the Democratic Conference on Housing Issues. And I will tell you that there is no better senator on protecting tenants' rights and getting actively involved in housing advocacy and community development issues than Marty Connor. In fact, a lot of what I do as the ranker on the Housing Committee, I learned from Marty Connor. And I think that each of my colleagues would tell you that they learn part of their job from Senator Connor. So the importance of his institutional knowledge is the importance of his understanding how legislation works and how it doesn't, how you move legislation through the process to actually making it law, an opportunity we're all going to have huge new possibilities with when we're in the majority in January. We're about to have the opportunity to ensure fair funding for New York City's public schools. We're about to have the opportunity to ensure that all the children of our state have health care. We're about to, to have the opportunity to ensure that we have marriage equality in this state and that civil rights of all of our citizens are protected. Why, on the verge of this tremendous opportunity and, our, uh, and the, substan the substantial responsibility that goes with it, why we would want to, for a minute, leave behind arguably the most knowledgeable, uh, most experienced, and most politically and, and uh, uh, politically sophisticated, and he has sophistication both in terms of politics but also in terms of public policy, is beyond me. Marty Connor is essential to this conference's success when we go into the majority. I'm not going back without him. None of us are going back without him. And so it's been my great pleasure to continue to work with Senator Connor. Uh, uh, since I lost uh, that part of Lower Manhattan, which he now represents. Now, some of you may have heard that I'm gay, and that is true. And even before I served with Senator Connor, he has been unwavering in his support for the LGBT community. And when I say unwavering, I mean a leader and brought other people in our conference to the realization that civil rights for every community is civil and human rights for every community. And again, Senator Connor is someone who doesn't tell other Democrats, run away from these issues. Far from it. He has encouraged my colleagues to embrace the issues of fairness and equality for lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender civil rights. From when the Sexual Orientation Non-Discrimination Act or the Gay Rights Bill was on the agenda of the New York City Council, Senator Connor was there. Seven new senators uh, arrived in Albany last year. An additional new senator was arrived this year. We need a marquee player that we can continue to build our team around and take us during this difficult period of not only winning back the majority, but also winning back the hopes, the minds, and aspirations of New Yorkers. No matter where you look, if it's in Troy, New York, or Troy Avenue in Brooklyn, New Yorkers have not only given up on government, but they have given up on themselves. Now is time, more than ever, to marry between the youthfulness of the new senators with the long, hard intelligence of a person like my senator and colleague, Martin Connor. This is not a question who should represent that district. It is not long, no longer a simple question that's presented to other New Yorkers. We must change that question into an exclamation point. Martin Connor is the senator we need in Auburn. This is not the amateur hour. This is the hour when we need all hands on deck especially those with the kind of experience uh, that Marty Connor brings. And I'm looking forward to joining him in that very difficult, challenging moment when we will have to turn this state around, we will have to open it back up, make it more accessible to the people, make it more progressive in understanding of all the communities throughout the state. We talk about change, and change is very important. Well, the change that we want is to see more inclusion 
in the state of New York, which is why we're pressing hard as Democrats to become the majority in November. We're not going to be do, able to do it successfully without sage and wisdom. In Marty Connor, we have that. We don't, we, need, we don't need to look over our shoulder to figure out who's with us as we pursue the difficult issues. We need to know where people stand on issues. We don't need people who waffle and who are, who are um, temperamental in terms of what they stand for. We know what Marty stands for. Marty Connor, each and every day, uh, I believe, uh, represents and uh, always remembers a very simple adage uh, that uh, it's important to make a positive difference uh, in people's lives. Uh, and that's what Marty does on a whole host of issues, uh, be it health care, uh, election law reform, uh, housing, uh, the list goes on and on. 